Thinking of gaining supreme confidence? Imagine you're about to step onto the stage of life, and you want to feel like a superhero, confident, and ready for anything. Well, think of dark psychology as your secret superpower, like having a magic playbook of mind tricks at your fingertips. It's a bit like being a Jedi master, subtly influencing the people around you without them even knowing it. Now let's explore the world of confidence. Picture it as the fuel that powers your engine in the race of life. Just like a car runs smoother with a full tank of gas, you perform better when you're overflowing with confidence. It's like having the key to unlock doors, build relationships, and chase your dreams. But here's where things get interesting. Dark psychology can be your secret weapon in boosting that confidence to new heights. We'll uncover techniques that empower you to project an aura of supreme confidence. Whether you're in a job interview, on a first date, or giving a presentation, these tricks will help you tap into your inner strength and radiate confidence in every situation. However, it's crucial to tread carefully on this journey. We'll navigate through the forbidden topics, making sure you use these techniques ethically and responsibly. It's not about manipulating or tricking others. It's about understanding the power of psychology to unlock your full potential and become the best version of yourself. Here we start with the 10 forbidden psychology tricks to gain extreme confidence. Confidence makes you unstoppable, but how do you get there? Well, think of these tips and tricks as your secret weapons. They're like little shortcuts that can help you feel more sure of yourself, no matter what life throws your way. So, understand how you can become the confident, unstoppable version of yourself you've always wanted to be. Imagine yourself walking down a familiar path, ready to explore these psychological hacks that can change your life. Anchoring. Anchoring is like creating a mental shortcut. You link a good feeling or memory to something specific. For example, think of a time when you felt confident. Now, whenever you need a boost, think about that moment. It's like hitting a confidence button in your brain. Picture yourself recalling a cherished memory, one that fills you with warmth and strength whenever you think about it. Reframing negative thoughts. This is all about changing how you see things. Instead of thinking, I can't do this, you can say, this is a chance to learn and grow. It's like flipping a switch in your mind from self-doubt to empowerment. Imagine turning a cloudy day into a sunny one, finding the silver lining in every challenge you face. Power posing. Ever notice how superheroes stand tall and proud? Power posing is like that. By standing in a confident posture, like with your hands on your hips, you can feel more confident. It's a simple way to trick your brain into feeling powerful. Envision yourself standing tall like a superhero, ready to face whatever comes your way with strength and determination. Visualization. This one's like daydreaming, but with a purpose. Close your eyes and picture yourself succeeding. Maybe you're acing a presentation or scoring a winning goal. Visualizing these scenarios can help you feel more confident when the real moment comes. Imagine painting a vivid picture in your mind, one where you achieve your goals and fulfill your dreams with ease. The self-fulfilling prophecy. This is all about the power of belief. If you tell yourself you're capable and confident, you're more likely to act that way. It's like convincing yourself you're awesome until you believe it. Picture yourself planting seeds of self-belief, nurturing them until they bloom into a garden of confidence and self-assurance. These tricks might seem small, but they can make a big difference in how you feel about yourself. Give them a try and see how they work for you. Take these simple steps towards a more confident you and watch as your inner strength grows with each passing day. Now that you've got a grasp of the fundamental techniques to boost your confidence, Let's explore some of the lesser known manipulation methods that can enhance your game. You see, mastering confidence isn't just about surface level strategies. It's about understanding the nuance of human behavior and how to influence it in subtle yet powerful ways. That's where these forbidden manipulation techniques come into play. These techniques go beyond the basics and tap into the darker side of psychology. They're not for the faint of heart, but when used wisely, they can give you a significant advantage in achieving your goals. The halo effect. The halo effect is pretty interesting. It's when someone's positive qualities in one area make us think they're good in everything else too. Imagine your friend is good at basketball, so you start thinking they must be amazing at math and cooking too. 
You can use this to your advantage by focusing on your strengths and making them shine so brightly that they overshadow any weaknesses. It's like highlighting the best parts of yourself to create a glowing aura of confidence. Now let's move on to another technique, mirroring. This one's all about building connections with people by subtly copying their behavior. Have you ever noticed that when someone smiles at you, you tend to smile back? That's mirroring in action. By mimicking someone's gestures, expressions, or even speech patterns, you can make them feel more comfortable around you. It's like creating a secret language that says, hey, we're alike, we're on the same wavelength. This can boost your confidence and likability, making you more influential in social settings. But wait, there's more. Gaslighting for ethical use. I know gaslighting has a bad reputation, but hear me out. There's an ethical way to use it. Gaslighting is all about making someone doubt their own reality. But instead of manipulating others, you can use similar techniques to strengthen your own beliefs. When self-doubt creeps in, you can gently challenge those negative thoughts and reinforce your confidence. It's like having an internal cheerleader reminding you of your worth and capabilities. Now on to the next trick, the Benjamin Franklin effect. Ever heard of the saying, if you want a friend, be a friend? Well, that's the essence of the Benjamin Franklin effect. It's based on the idea that when we do favors for others, we start to like them more. So if you're feeling a bit insecure, you can boost your confidence by asking for small favors from others. It creates a sense of reciprocity and builds goodwill, making you feel more positive about yourself. But wait, there's one more technique to explore, the illusory truth effect. This one's pretty fascinating. Did you know that the more you hear something, the more likely you are to believe it. It's called the illusory truth effect. So if you want to internalize confidence-boosting beliefs, repeat positive statements about yourself regularly. Whether it's in your mind or out loud, the more you affirm your abilities, the more you'll start to believe in them. It's like planting seeds of confidence in your mind and watching them grow over time. It's crucial to approach these techniques with wisdom and responsibility. They can be incredibly powerful tools for achieving your goals but they should never be used to manipulate or harm others. Remember, as you explore these strategies, always keep in mind the importance of using them ethically and with respect for others. Let's harness these techniques to empower ourselves and others, rather than causing harm or manipulation. I bet you're wondering, how do I actually use these techniques in my everyday life, especially in your personal relationships, work environment, and social interactions? Well, let's break it down with some practical examples. Practical application. Personal relationships. Think about it like this. In your personal relationships, these techniques act as your secret weapon to boost your confidence and charm. You'll learn to read people better, communicate more effectively, and build stronger bonds with those around you. Picture this. Resolving conflicts becomes easier, conversations flow more smoothly, and you become the magnet that draws people towards you. But remember, it's crucial to use these skills with honesty and respect for others' feelings. Now, let's switch gears and see how these same tricks can work wonders for you in your professional life. Professional settings. Picture yourself in the workplace where every interaction is an opportunity to shine. By mastering these tricks, you'll become the confident leader everyone looks up to. Whether it's acing presentations, sealing deals in meetings, or simply commanding respect from your colleagues, Understanding the psychology behind human behavior puts you ahead of the game. Imagine the doors that will open for you as you effortlessly climb the career ladder. And last but not least, let's learn how these techniques can transform your social life. Social interactions. Now think about those social gatherings where you want to leave a lasting impression. With these dark psychology tricks up your sleeve, you'll be the life of the party. Imagine effortlessly captivating everyone around you with your charm and confidence. Whether it's networking events, parties, or even just casual hangouts, people will gravitate towards you like moths to a flame. It's your chance to shine and make a mark wherever you go. By understanding and using these forbidden secrets of manipulation and dark psychology responsibly, you're not just unlocking new levels of confidence and success, you're also becoming a better version of yourself. Anchoring, reframing negative thoughts, power posing, and more. These are all tools in the dark psychology arsenal, designed to boost confidence to extreme levels. 
But here's the thing. While these techniques can be incredibly effective, they can also be dangerous if used irresponsibly. That's why it's crucial to tread carefully and use them ethically. So let's recap what we've learned. We've explored how anchoring can trigger instant confidence, how reframing negative thoughts can turn self-doubt into empowerment, and how power posing can change your mindset. But as we wrap up, I want to stress the importance of using this knowledge responsibly. Sure, you can use these tricks to skyrocket your confidence, but it's essential to do so in a way that doesn't harm others or cross ethical boundaries. Remember, confidence should come from within, not from manipulating others. So use these techniques wisely, and may your journey to extreme confidence be filled with integrity and self-awareness. As we wrap up our talk on dark psychology and its tricks for boosting confidence, let's take a moment to think about what we've learned. We've talked about things like anchoring, reframing negative thoughts, and power posing, ways to feel more confident. But here's the thing. While these tricks can help us feel better about ourselves, we need to be careful how we use them. It's important to treat people with kindness and respect and not try to manipulate or trick them. So as you go out into the world and try to be more confident, remember to be kind to others. And if you do use any of these tricks, use them wisely and ethically. Let's build each other up instead of tearing each other down.